Hey, everybody, and welcome to episode number 200 of the Daily Dose of Drupal. Yep, 200 episodes in and still going strong. In today's episode of the Daily Dose of Drupal, we're going to be looking at how to set up a local host environment using a program called MAMP. So before we get started with doing that, the first thing I want to show you is some stuff on Code Karate. Make sure if you're there to check out our free sticker giveaway. Basically, there's no strings attached. We're just going to send you a free Code Karate sticker. Um, right to your mailbox, no cost to you. So all we need from you is an address and some other details. So go ahead and check that out. Also, while you're there, make sure to check out all our other posts. Make sure to sign up for our newsletter and uh, check out anything else that we have going on. So before we get started downloading, first let's learn a little bit more about MAMP. MAMP is an acronym that stands for um, Mac Operating System, um, Apache, which is the web server, uh, MySQL, which is the database that is used. And then the P actually stands for uh, PHP in regards to Drupal, but it also can be used with Python and Perl, um, two other uh, web development languages. But for the sake of Drupal, obviously we're going to focus on the PHP um, web development uh, language. So the whole idea behind MAMP is, is that when you download MAMP, and it allows you to set up a local system on your computer. So basically what that means is, again, a local is a fancy word for basically you can run it on your um, device or your computer that you're using um, probably to watch this video. So it's going to allow you to do that. And then in future videos here, I'm going to show you actually how to set that up and run a Drupal website right from your local system. So the first step, though, is to get MAMP installed and configured. So to do that, you can just head on over to MAMP.info. And once you get there, there is a downloads link on the top. So you can click downloads or on the home page, you can get there by going under the MAMP and clicking download. There, note there is a MAMP Pro. Um, I've actually never experienced MAMP Pro myself. The free version works for me in setting up my local host. So go ahead and just click on download MAMP. Once you go here, you again, this is for Mac operating system. If you are using a Windows operating system, you can still do this, except for you're going to be wanting to use a product called WAMP, which again is just Windows instead of Mac um, for the operating system. But you can go right there and then download from there. And then again, it just asks you if you need a 32 or 64 bit. Um, system in the comments below though if you are using a Windows system you want me to make a tutorial on setting up a WAMP server um, make sure to let me know and I can get that done as well but in this video we're gonna focus on MAMP or the Mac operating system so to download all you need to do is come in here and click download and that will begin your download right there and it's just gonna download a .pkg file or a package file on Mac and once that's done, it is a little big, 234 megabytes. So it's a little big. It's going to take a little while to download. But once that gets downloaded, we're going to show you how to set everything else up. All right, so now that we have MAMP installed on our system, we just need to launch it. So to launch it, you can go under your applications or under your launch pad and find it and go ahead and give that a click. And that's going to start up our MAMP program. And right here, there's a pretty simple setup, actually, but there's a few things we're going to want to walk through. First thing we're going to want to start off once it gets loaded is underneath our Preferences tab. So let's go ahead and click Preferences. And in here, there's a couple different subheadings that we can look at. Um, first of all, we have some what we want to do when we start and stop. So when you, st when you start MAMP, you can actually have, or launch the MAMP program, you can actually have it start your server automatically without having to come in here and click on that Start Servers button. That's just a preference if you want it. Um, you can also, we don't need to check for MAMP Pro because we're not interested in that. And then you can open the web page on start, which I'm going to show you what that means here in a second. And then when you quit MAMP, you can obviously have it stop your server right away, um, which I recommend doing. I'm not really sure what my favorite link is, so we'll ignore that for now. Um, next thing is, is ports. Um, by default, and let me switch this back to defaults here. By default, yours is going to look something like this. So we're going to start with that actually, and I'll show you. So we're going to go ahead and click OK there. And then, so you have your Apache port, your Nginx port, and then your MySQL um, port, which again, Nginx is just another web server, um, similar to Apache. Um, so moving on from there, you can actually select which version of PHP you want to use. Um, if you're using Drupal 7 today, um, you probably will need to use the 5.0. 
6.2 work for everything, but there are some modules that don't work with that version of PHP. So you might need to run an older version of PHP. Um, then you can set your caching. Um, I prefer APC caching if you have one or the other, but I actually pretty much by default always keep my caching off on my local host because I, if I'm making a change to a website, I don't want to have that change not stick. So I um, just keep my caching turned off. But again, you can set that to your own preference. Um, the last one under the web server, here's where you can tell it which web server you want to use, whether that be Apache or Nginx. Again, I prefer Apache, and by default, most people will as well. Um, the other thing here is your document root. This is where you will save and store your website files. And we're going to experience this more in the next video when we look at getting Drupal installed. But for now, you can see here that I store all of my website files underneath a website folder on my doc root. So right here under my websites, here are my two different websites I have for Drupal 7 and Drupal 8. And I could obviously add more in here as well. But here's where I house all of those websites. So I'm going to keep it there. So on Macintosh, under my apps folder and websites. I believe by default, it puts it in an htdocs folder, which is what you might be seeing. But again, you can just simply change that and navigate to wherever you'd want. Or you can keep it at default as well. So we'll go ahead and just click OK there. So now we have all our settings saved, and we're going to go ahead and just do start server. And once this goes, so basically this is loading up a your local server, and you'll see it loaded here. It'll say, welcome, you've been installed successfully, so that's all good. And then what you'll see here is this is, what's that, well, this is that start page that we um, checked on that earlier box. So if we go back to our settings, or our preferences, that is this checkbox here. If we didn't check that, this page behind me here wouldn't load um, like it did. So now that it's loaded, you'll see here it says localhost colon 8888 four eights. And then the rest of it's on the back end there. But that is the root of your local host. So if I go here, this is my local server running right here. So this is the basically the home folder or whatever of my local host. And you'll see here, here are my two websites, Drupal 7 and Drupal 8. So let's work through this website real quick. So if you want to click my website, then again, that's going to load just to that local host, 8888, 848s. <laughs> you can also come in here and see some PHP information. This is sometimes helpful if you're trying to um, configure something. So you can see there's a bunch of information here about your Apache um, web server as well. And also from here, you can launch your database or your PHP. My admin is the default one with MAMP and supported with Drupal. So here we're going to look at this way more detail in the next video, setting up a database and users from there. But here you can see I have a Drupal 7 database set up. And again, if I come into here, we can see all the different tables that are made up in the Drupal installation. But again, we're going to look at that in a later video. But just know that that's accessible via the welcome page. So we come back to the welcome page here. Um, frequently asked questions, and then you can get to the MAMP website. So the rest of this isn't really useful. So the one you'll use most of all is launching your database and possibly getting to your website. Um, below here, it also gives you some information about your root user with your database. Again, I'm going to cover that in a future video. But you can see here you have your root user. Um, it also gives you some basic news going on with MAMP and some other stuff that you really don't need on a daily basis. But anyway, so the one thing else in this video I want to show you is how to set up so you don't have to type in the colon 8888. Instead, you can just type in localhost. So to do that, we can come back to our settings. And underneath our ports, we want to go ahead and say set web and MySQL ports to 80 and 3306. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and we're going to set this one to a value, the Nginx port to a value not being 80. So I'm just going to put in 10. It doesn't matter. I'm not using Nginx right now. So we will keep this at using 80 and 3306. we we'll go ahead and click OK. And that's going to need a second to reconfigure here. I just need to confirm that. So there we go. So now instead of going to colon 88888, I can just go to localhost and then I can go into my website here. So there we go. So now I have localhost slash Drupal 
7. And this again could be your site name at all. This doesn't have to say Drupal 7. This could say your, this will say whatever the name of that file is. So that would say whatever the name of that folder is. So that's how you can set that so you don't have to type in the colon 88888. See, that doesn't even work anymore because we changed our port. So now we just need to continue to use just our local host up in our web browser. So that's how you set that up. Um, obviously, and you can verify that it's working because I have uh, a Drupal site already set up and working. At this point, you don't have any of that set up, so it's going to look pretty plain to you. Um, but in the next video, um, you can see how to set up and install a Drupal website and a Drupal database. So until next time, guys, make sure to head on over to CodeKarate.com again and check out and get your free sticker. Um, make sure to leave us a note about possibly information on setting up a WAMP server or any other videos you might want to see, um, maybe not even related to setting up a local host. Is anything in Drupal, we're definitely willing to check it out. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Um, it's been an awesome run at 200 episodes. We're looking forward to 300 episodes and beyond. So thanks for your support, and until next time, see ya.